Yeah, we're going to do a little test today of a uh, tracking generator. I wanted to show a little bit about the uh, DSA series from Regal, the spectrum analyzers. So uh, I have a, one of our 1030s, which is a 3 gigahertz spectrum analyzer. I've got a, an antenna, and um, I have my cell phone, and the cell phone is in airplane mode, so it's not transmitting. You'll notice we have a pretty flat spectrum here. So I'm going to enable my, uh, my radio on my phone, if you just hold on one second. Get off of airplane mode here. So airplane mode is off, and you'll see that once we get full bars, we should get some transmission. And now we have a nice spike. I believe that that's at, let's do a peak, uh, 1.865 gigahertz. So now what I'd like to show is the tracking generator. I'm just going to turn my phone back off. And once the uh, radio turns off, you'll see that the power goes down. So now I'm going to remove the remove the antenna and I'm going to uh, going to connect just the tracking generator and explain a little bit more about what a tracking generator does so the tracking generator allows it follows the input frequency um, or the uh, I'm sorry it's following the scan so as the uh, detector of the spectrum analyzer is scanning across frequency ranges the generator is actually going to do the exact same thing uh, and so if we enable that, so I'm gonna, it's at minus 10 dBm, and I'm going to turn it on. Now you'll see we have a flat line at minus 10 dBm, or relatively flat line over minus 10 dBm. Uh, some of those values are due to the actual connections that we're using um, and the actual output values from the tracking generator. I'm going to disable it. Tracking generators are useful for testing passive components such as uh, filters, which is what I'm going to do here. We have a small small test board, the Regal TX1000 RF demo kit, and it has a filter on it. Uh, so what I'm going to do, or in, in it I should say, um, I'm going to configure this. I'm going to connect it to the input before the filter. There are also some active components that we have available in another, another filter. Um, and to remove this. So again, I don't have this connected to anything. It's not going to be a trend. It's not going to be actively creating any kind of signal. We're going to use the tracking generator through the filter to then um, characterize this filter. And so now we'll enable that tracking generator. And you'll see now we have a peak. If we go peak, uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go left. So now at 945 megahertz, we have a peak. And so, again, if we disable the tracking generator, you'll see we'll go back to flat. And I'll enable the tracking generator. Again, this is the characterization uh, the, the characterization over spectrum of that particular filter that we're testing.